I think it's just it's an amazing photograph. It looks like it's not really there at all. And sometimes children do research and they use the internet and we forget to ask them to think about how we got the information. Maybe I'll come back to that. What is science? In a nutshell, science is that. It's wondering why and then it's trying to find out if we're right about what we think why is. And if you really want to do real science with children, then that's what you've got to do. You've got to gather some evidence, try and find out if you can find the answer. Even Ofsted, bless them at last, want us to do that. And so I thought what I'd do, this might be a bit scary, is just to show you or get you to do a little bit of science. Because not knowing the answer is really, really important. Okay? Now that over there there are some sticks. There's a few sticks here. I'm sure some of you would have seen these before. But if you take a stick, grab a stick, someone, look, just be active. Here, grab a stick. If you hold a stick, and I'm sure you've done this a hundred times before, if you hold a stick on two fingers like that, hold a stick on two fingers like that, don't do anything yet, just think what will happen if you move one finger in towards the middle and keep on going. You got, you got an answer? Now just gently do it and allow whatever happens to happen. Just allow whatever happens to happen. Don't try and make your answer come true. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit spooky, isn't it? Do you know, do you know, that's what doing science is about. Having a bit of a question, and, and actually, how many, people, how many of the grown-ups in here thought they knew all they had to know about sticks? <laughs> they didn't. I've got time to show you a couple of more, or at least one. Have a look, and you've seen this one before. You might want to stand up to look at the candle. Do you want to stand up and look at the candle? I don't know. Can you see the candle? <laughs> candles are really simple. Everyone knows about candles. But if you take a candle, if you're going to look clever enough to light a match, light a match light. Come on, match light. If you light a candle and then blow it out, and hold a match in the white smoke. Miraculously, it does that. Do it again. I won't do it again. I'll try again. One more time. I'm still going. Now, that, that could be magic. But I can guarantee it's not. It's key stage two science. Final piece, I've got time for one more. I'm sure we can play with this. We can play with this later. If you take 